Connie Townsend, group fitness instructor with the Wenatchee Racket and Athletic Club. Today we're doing another at-home workout and we're going to use our staircase. So if you've got any steps in your house, even just one, that's all we need. We're going to use that bottom step. Now if you're like me and don't have a, any stairs in the house, except for the outside patio, um, I happen to have a step, step aerobic step, and I'm going to use that. So if you have one around the house, you're certainly welcome to use it. But we're just going to use that bottom step. That's going to give us a little elevation to work the muscles and get the heart rate up. So, let's find your staircase. Let's march it. All right, you're nice and tall. Shoulders are back and down. Starting to draw that navel back toward the spine. Now, give me three marches. One, two, knee hug. Hug it in. So we're starting to loosen up the glutes, the hamstrings, the low back. Stay nice and tall, don't round the shoulders. Staircase, stair. I'm going to do a little small, shallow, alternating lunge. And right here, it's step up. Now the upper body doesn't move. We don't lean. Keep those shoulders back. We're just stepping onto that step, then lowering the back knee just a little bit. Starting to warm up all the muscle groups. Keep the head up. You have to check where you are once in a while. On the other foot this time. Don't lean over. Four, three, two. Now other leg. A stationary lunge. So you're up on your back toe. Let that heel come up. If you need some help balancing, just hold on to the banister or the wall. One more. And give me some pulses. Quick way to warm up all those muscles in the legs. Get the heart rate up. Come on, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Step it up. Let's march again. We're gonna warm up the back of the body some more. We'll do an alternating step with a back leg lift. Looks like this. So you're alternating feet or you can just stay on one. Because in a moment we will stay on the one leg. Now don't arch the back. Keep the pelvis neutral. You're starting to try to use those glutes. Now stay on this leg. Step, lift. Step, lift. Moving kind of quick. That gets the heart rate up. Warms up the muscles. Four. Three. Two. We're going to pulse it now. Lift, 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 lift. Four, three, two, march it up. So that leg that was on the step, it just got warmed up. All right, let's do the other side. Step, lift. Don't raise it too high, you're not wanting to arch the back. Now this is a great stretch for the front of the hip as well as activation of the glutes. Four, three, two, pulses. So you're kind of pushing down into the step with this leg as the other one lifts. Woo, march it out. All right, so let's bring one leg up. We're gonna step back. Try to put that heel down on the floor. Now make sure the, leg, the foot is lined up, where the heel's lined up with the toes. We're gonna lean, keep the shoulders back. So you got a little calf stretch for the back leg. Now, let's raise it up. You're feeling that stretch in the front of the hip, down into the quad, up into the abdominals. Let's lift that arm. Get it in close to the body. Pull back. Don't let the back arch. Or stay neutral. Woo. And bring it down. Step it in. Let's switch sides. So one foot on the step. Step straight back. Let's put the heel down. And lean a little if you can. Body is up. Shoulders back. Now let's raise. And you don't let the back arch. We're really stretching in the front of the hip now, the front of the body. Lift it, pull back. All right, step it in. Let's do a real quick back stretch, tuck round, chest stretch, forward exhale, inhale. Now we're gonna use that step for some cardio. So we'll be stepping up and down like we would on a step aerobic step. Just doing a basic, one more. And then we'll increase the speed if we can. So it's all about you and your own level of work. All right, and make sure your step is stable. If you're using a step aerobic step, make sure those risers are locked in. And sometimes staircase steps aren't very deep. 
So, don't trip yourself with your toes on the edge. Okay, in four, three, we're just going up and down. Now don't lean over here, stay tall. We're just staying on one lead for now. the tempo and you're gonna start going quicker if you're able to so you're just running it up okay here we go four three two We're using this step for squat thrusts. I'll show you the walking out version. We come down, out, in, up. Now, if you're able to have a little bounce to it, come down, out and in. Come into a plank position. Four, three. One more. Are right, we gonna come down? Walk it out, plank, and a little jog. Do some mountain climbers. Hips are down. Whew. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Walk it in slowly up and march. Now, let's use that other leg. So, Catch your breath a moment. When we go down like that, it gets the heart rate up. So we're gonna recover in our 70% range, in our working heart rate. That builds endurance. Woo! Now we're on the other lead this time. Let's do a basic. Up, down. You can always just stay with the tempo. Or try to speed it up. You know what's next. Down, walk it out, walk it back in. Or jump it. Whatever level you can work. Watch that lower back. One more. Coming down. Jog it. Hips low. Come on. Head is above the heart. You can 
always grab water when you need it. That was pretty intense right off the bat. Now, we're gonna use our step to work our legs. Now we're gonna turn sideways to it. So we're standing right beside the step. One foot up, one foot on the floor. Now when you glance down, your toes are lined up sideways. Your feet are parallel. We're just gonna do a one-legged squat. So, just like regular squats, you're keeping your shoulders back, chin neutral. Sitting down, standing up. Okay. Now, stay up. We're gonna do a side leg lift. Step up, side leg. Your toe facing front. Ankle flexed. Hips are neutral. So don't try to go up too high because then we'll, we'll bend in our waist. We want that hip joint to work. All right, last few. We're gonna add a squat to it. Sit, side leg lift. Woo! Four, three, two. Shake it up. Now you can just turn around. I'm gonna switch sides, because I've got two sides. But if you're on a staircase, just turn around. All right. One foot up, one foot down. The other that leg you're standing on is straight down from the hip. Toes forward, one leg squat. Pushing into the seal to get back up. Stay centered. Woo. Three, two. All right, we're staying up. Leg lift. So you're pushing into the heel that's on the step. You're working quite a few different muscle groups here. Your whole lower body. Remember to flex that ankle. Keep the toe forward. You wanna work in the outer part of the hip. One more like this. Let's finish with squat lift. back of the legs this time. Now, we'll be facing the step. Instead of facing sideways, we step up with one leg, pushing into that foot to lift us up. Now this leg is going to do a back leg lift. Now your leg naturally turns out just a little. So when you lift, your toe is actually angled out a little bit. 
Now we don't want to lift so high that we arch our back. So it's just a step and lift. So we did these. Maybe we did these. Maybe we didn't in the warm up. on the floor. So it's the same sort of exercise, but now our legs are kind of staggered this way, instead of side by side. Alright, now it's a squat, back leg. Alternating. No, maybe we didn't. Other foot up on the step this time. Let's step lift. So we switched. Get a little cardio burst again. your back leg lift. All right, now we're going to face the step again. Widen out your feet. We're going to go into a squat. We're going to hold that squat, shoulders back. Now just step up and down. Now you can really slow it down or you can keep it speeded up. Then a squat, 
And then two presses. So pick your weights. It's a combination. And then in a moment, we'll be switching to a lunge pulse with some side raises. So those might require a little bit lighter. All right. Carefully grab those weights. Legs are squat width apart. Okay. Now let's hang the weights in front. Now those weights might pull those shoulders forward. So you need to roll them back and down. Try to squeeze those shoulder blades together and keep them that way. We're gonna go into one deadlift. Now, kind of a bicep curl position. One squat. Keep the palms facing you. Up, up. Deadlift. Squat. Press, press. Deadlift, shoulders back. Squat. You can alternate. Deadlift. Push through those heels. Keep, oops, keep the back straight. Shoulders back. Squat. Up, up. Woo! -hoo. Down, up, squat, up. But one more. Lift, squat, up, up. All right, if you need to, reduce your weight a little. We're gonna be doing three lunge pulses. When we come up, going to do a side raise. So, step forward one leg. Way back there with the other, you're on your toes and your toes are facing front. So don't let that foot turn in or out back there. Shoulders back and down. One, two, three, one, two, three, up. So don't lift higher than your shoulders. Just dropping that back knee down and back, remember. Whew, one more. Okay. Now, before we get to the other side, we'll do something here in the, in the center. We'll do one squat row. Then when we stand up, we're going to put them together and do a pullover. Now, if you'd rather, you can just use one weight in the center so you can adjust it. All right, shoulders back. We're going to sit, row, up and pull. Row, pullover. Takes a lot of control. You can set them together or keep them separate. Just watch those shoulders. Two more. Pull. Pull over. And a pull. Pull over. Let them rest a moment. And then, remember we have to do the other leg. It's our lunge pulse with another set of side raises. So make sure it's a light enough weight that you can get those arms to the side. Keeping the shoulders relaxed and down. Other leg forward. 
on the toes, shoulders back, one, two, three. So don't lean over. Legs are hip width apart, but they're very wide front and back. Might be hard to balance. That's okay, you're training the body in stability. One more. Whew. Okay, set them aside. We will finish up with those squatted step ups. We're gonna do the other side. And then we'll just do some basics and bring the heart rate back down. So, widen out your feet. We're squatted. We're gonna just step up and down. Really using all those muscles in the lower body and the core. It's a little slower now. Let's just step up. Bring the heart rate back down. Now we're gonna switch legs. Tap down. Up, up, down, down. March it out. So we'll use our stair to help us stretch. All right. Now we're gonna step up one foot, kind of like what we did in the beginning. We're gonna step straight back, toes facing front, put the heel down. And lean into that calf stretch to start with. Shoulders back. So your heart rate's coming down. Breathing is slowing. Let's raise it up to feel that stretch all the way along. Now if you need to step in a little so you're not arching your back, that's good. Let's lift. Really reach up. Lengthen the spine. Pull back. So that really opens up the whole front of the body. And then down. Let's step under us. The leg that's on the step, we stretch the back of it. So you're on the heel. Leg is straight, pull the toes up. And you just bend this standing leg. Now your chin is up, your shoulders are back. And you're feeling the hamstring stretch. Head is above the heart. So a really nice straight back and a nice straight leg. Now when we use a step, any step up, that increases our intensity by 60% from a regular floor workout. Let's come on back up. Now, switch legs. So, just by increasing your height a little with things like the, um, walking up the basic, that is increasing how much your body works by 60% just in that little that little modification or that little add-on. 
So I believe in using the step whenever you can or a slight elevation because it makes your uh, workout much more efficient. Brings your heart rate up quicker. It doesn't take as long to get to your working heart rate. Come on up, let's reach. Maybe reach up there first and pull back if you can. So because the step increases your intensity, it's always best to kind of get there gradually. If your heart rate's going too high, then you just keep your arms low or slow down your pace. Because it's pretty easy to get up out of your working range when we're using tools like a step. Keep those shoulders back. Pull the toe in. Woo! And slowly up a step wide. We're going to come into a deep squat and set our hands on the step. Now go ahead and straighten. Let's get in those hamstrings again. Keeping the head above the heart. Let's bend and up. And one more. Straighten. Ooh. Really feel it back there. Bend, let's tuck, let's roll slowly up. Roll the shoulders back. And then try to catch those hands behind you. Let them drop down. That pulls the shoulders back and down. Not letting the back arch. Keep the pelvis neutral. Let's turn our head to look. Try to see past your shoulder. And then other side. And back to center. Tilt the head forward. And then back to center, hang them beside you, palms facing back, arms are straight. Let's just go up, inhale, and then come down and pull back. All right, so there's another tip to using just household items <laughs> for a workout. Just your staircase, and you don't even need dumbbells. Remember, you can use water bottles, or you can use cans of soup. You can use two even even evenly weighted rocks so we can do any workout at home. I'm Connie and I'll see you again.